when is a planet not a planet is a lot more than the beginning of a poor joke at a drunken astronomer's Christmas party, but we laugh nonetheless. It is actually a serious question that cuts to the heart of our ignorance about how celestial objects form. The discovery of a giant planet 22,000 light years away may now help shine some light on this particularly naughty problem. The planet is called Ogle 2016 BLG 1190. It was found on June 2016 by the Optical Gravitational Lensing Experiment, OGL, a Polish astronomical project run by the University of Warsaw. The planet was not seen directly, but was inferred by the way its gravity-focused light from its parent star, causing the star to temporarily brighten. Such a phenomenon is known as a gravitational microlensing event. It was observed by a number of different observations besides OGL one of which was the orbiting NASA space telescope Spitzer. Proxima Centauri planet could tell us about alien life in the universe. Stuart Clark. Read more. In a study just published by Y. H. Ryu of the Korea Astronomy and Space Science Institute and colleagues, the astronomers calculate that the planet must be somewhere around 13 times the mass of Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. Jupiter itself is 317 times more massive than the Earth, making this newly discovered world around 4,000 times the mass of our planet. This puts it right on the boundary between a planet and a type of failed star called a brown dwarf. Astronomers have a number of possible ways that they can decide whether something is a star or a planet. The most obvious is that a planet does not generate significant energy, whereas her star does. This is why a star shines, but planets just reflect light. A brown dwarf sits between the two. It is not a star, because it does not fuse hydrogen to generate significant energy, and so does not shine brightly. It is not a planet either, because it can fuse an isotope of hydrogen called deuterium, thus generating a small amount of energy.